their setup, they receive that information by satellite. Oh. They're getting the radar from the other sites fed into and displayed on their computers, oh. which they can then also juxtapose with GPS. Okay. So, so, then, so then you can see the storm and then also you know, see what the road system is. And there's a little dot that shows where we're at. Okay. Which is you know, kind of cool where you said, okay, here's the place where it's, there's purples and markers showing that there's 2.5 inch hail. Little arrow, there's a little line coming up from the dot that shows the direction we're going, and that line's right into that. You know, that's where we're going. <laughs> Jeff, which is your favorite painting or favorite ph photograph? Um, painting in the sky. Probably the lightning one is my favorite. I think the one that gets the strongest response overall is all of the sky. Absolutely. I mean, just that was my vote. everybody, it's one that definitely jumps out of everybody. Tell us a little bit about, about it. You know, this was uh, towards the end of this storm's life cycle, actually. We had followed it earlier. And it, was, it was actually last year's tour, and it was the very first significant storm that I was on the chase following the storm. And I remember early in the storm's life, we were driving right through it which they call punching the core. The strong storms develop a core where you get usually the hail and the strongest precipitation. And, uh, but the storm wasn't that strong. It was normally, because that's where a big hail can be, the storm tour vehicles would avoid that. But it, we, we hit maybe like little pea sides of that. Okay. But it was cool because as we're punching the core of the storm, we heard on the radio the warning go out about the storm. We were driving right through it. Like the, the little yellow box showed up, and like, you know, here we are. So that was neat, driving right through it when it first the morning went out about it. Um, so then we got ahead of it. We followed it quite a ways. Um, and this is when it was starting to decline. The clouds were breaking up, and we had stopped just because it, it was a nice storm in that there wasn't a lot of cloud away from it, so like it allowed the sunshine to come through mm -hmm. and really light up the parts of it really nicely. That really blue bit of sky, I'm sure, is what attracted my attention. And it's, we, we, we would actually, I think, stop because there was a bunch of horses in this field, too. So we were taking pictures of the horses. And you can see there's some cows also. And but when you look closely, they don't seem to care about the storm yeah, that right. they just did. <laughs> I wrote uh, in an email I sent out last year where I included this photo that I think my caption was these guys seem more concerned about us than they did about the storm. Mm -hmm. It was, it was a, and after this, we were in a position to watch it where the storm was falling apart, turning into rain, kind of like that one. But there was like rainbow. It was Rainbow City because we had a perfect angle. Where the light was reflecting through the falling rain. It was, it was really pretty. <laughs> Jeff, they're incredible photographs. And you're an adventurous sort of person to go after these photographs. No, I have to say it, it's, uh, it's enjoyable. And I've gotten to see a part of the country that I had never seen before. I tell people I had no idea South Dakota you know, is, is such a pretty state. Modern day Remington. You know, places from the Badlands to the Sand Hills to just places where you have canyons and shallow canyons that are like verdant green. It almost looks like the Ireland across to the southwest. And, and sometimes you know, they're not marked on the map, you just turn off a side road and chasing the storm and suddenly you're in the middle of all this. It's, a, it's one of the neat things about do you use the same camera for everything? Um, the camera I used for the color photographs was the same for the, between the two trips. I did have at least one new lens. Because uh, you know, it was the lens I used for this photo. I wanted to have a really wide angle lens and a good one um, to capture you know, a whole lot of the storm structure at one time. So that's an example of a photo taken at that wider angle. Both years, I did also take the camera that I've had converted to infrared. Mm. And I shot some infrared both years, too. And actually, that infrared photo there is from last year, but I got some pretty good this year, too. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I love these photos.